Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Just a short video on a EA or Expert Advisor. I'm testing on a on a really small account on Oanda. I'll bring it up here. Anyhow, there's the actual auto trader. Um, I'll bring up the um, it's a, it's a five hundred dollar account I started out with, which is enough to uh, trade. The way the uh, the way I've got it set up is it trades only two positions at a time, and um, it turns off if there's more than one loss. So it, it's mainly set up to trade at night or Asian hours and then European hours. Of course, now the markers are closed, but the first month I started it, um, I had some losses, about twenty dollars. In the second month. I had a three dollar profit and then this month um, I'll show this my account history I'm at I have a thirty two dollar profit on it so I'm totally out of the drawdown I don't know what it will be next month but a standard uh, I it trades a standard point zero two lots so if that stop loss is out at 50 pips that's usually six or nine dollars and it trades at, Takes profit after 15 pips, which is typically two to three dollars or two fifty three bucks uh, for two contracts or point zero two. Anyways, let me go up here. All the pink that shows up there, those are losses, but those are stop losses at break even. I've got it set up to break even. Usually, I'll get a couple per month. This month I was lucky. The month, the trading month was short, and I didn't get any. All I got was break even. So there's one. Two, three, four stop loss uh, at break even, and um, yep, and one was at six cent loss. I lost six cents, which ain't much, but I still count it as a break even. Sometimes it'll it'll break, it'll get a break even, but it'll get like two cents, like in a previous month. But I don't, I don't usually count those. Anyways, I want to point something out. Even with these stop losses. At break even, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve um, wins basically in a row because there wasn't any losses. So if you have a win rate like that, it can work out pretty good. Now, a lot of people will point out it's only $3 a month, but I'm only testing this on uh, a $500 account. And uh, for thirty dollars, yes, of course it's not a lot. But if you want to say instead of have five hundred dollars for your uh, margin, you could have five thousand, and then you could trade instead of ten cents a pip, a dollar pip. So that thirty-two would be three hundred and twenty. And if you want to put in like fifty thousand dollars, you could get uh, trade full contracts or lots. A full lot is a hundred thousand dollars. A small lot is a uh, thousand. So for a hundred thousand, you get ten dollars a pip. So that three hundred and twenty dollars at one dollar pip would go up to uh, ten times that, which would be, I think, three thousand. So depending on what kind of margin you want to put in there, um, that's how that works. So um, that's how I see. It. And anyways, I'm just testing this out to see how it goes. And another thing is, you can also too the way this auto trader is set up is you can um, increase your. So if your account balance goes up from either depositing money or the trades. The winning trades, it will, it will set it up so you take more and more contracts. It's set up. You can program it, or you can put in the parameters. Um, a half a percent, so a half a percent of your account, it will trade that. The same thing if the account balance goes down, it'll only trade a half a percent of your account. So it manages that. What I'm trying to get at is it compounds your gains, which can really add up and, and give you a really nice return. Um, you don't have to do that. What you could do if you want to do. Uh, Put up more, more margin to cover the more trades. You, could, you know, instead of trading 0 0.02, you could trade 0 0.03, which for a small account like that would just barely cover your your uh, margin. But you could do that if you trade a little bit more aggressively, or you could put in like 2,500 to 5,000 and, and trade, you know, maybe 0 0.04 or whatever, or 0 0.05. Um, just make sure you have enough margin to cover those contracts and realize if you're going to trade big like that. You, you would want to set this up in a demo 
and then when you get a few losses in a row, then start start the EA after that on your live account. That's one way you could do it, or you could you know uh, trade point zero two contracts and and get eight or nine or ten in a row, whatever. Eventually you're going to get a loss. You'll get one or two losses, and if you got one or two losses in a row, then what you could do, if you have a high win rate, what you can do is add on like one contract for the next, assuming the next one wins, and if it does, you get a little bit more. You can come back a little bit doing that. It's up to you and how you want to manage the risk, but uh, I just wanted to show that uh, this EA I've been running for about three months. I'm not a full three months, but the first month I had losses, then the second month I had a $3 gain, and this month 32 bucks. Now let me go back. Yeah, thirty-two dollars and forty-three cents. Anyways, what's cool about it is you can set it up so it just it trade it takes two trades at one. You know, like it, it'll take a trade when it take when it's designed to take a trade, but it'll only have two trades that are live. It won't take any more trades than that. And the same thing is once you get a loss, it'll turn off, so you don't take any more trades. So you're limiting your loss in that sense. You're not over trading in that sense, and you're managing the risk a little bit better. So if you have a trading goal, it can really help you meet your trading goals like that. As you can see, uh, for this limited trading month, um, I'm not going to turn it back off, to, turn it back on until after the new year. It can really help uh, keep you disciplined. And those little gains really add up. They really add up to take back all your losses. When I first started, it was about a twenty dollar, twenty four or twenty four dollar loss. I'm I'm back. I'm out of drawdown. And um, I'll mention it later if I do another video, like if I'm in drawdown again. But uh, that's one way you can uh, look at it. One more thing I want to talk about is I do a lot of the trades on Nade uh, Nadex. Uh, I sometimes talk about Steve's Trading Club and his new trade that he was selling. Uh, it's the Euro Pound. I just want to go over that. I did it for this month. I want to give you the statistics. In the first week I got, it only trades, it's designed to trade three times a week, Monday through Wednesday. And you have to put in your order, and it either, it's either long or short, and either gets filled or it doesn't. And um, you don't spend any more than 57 bucks. There's more to it. Uh, he used to have a, a service that would you could pay for, but he got all that filled, so you can't do it anymore. But um, my first week was one win. The second week, um, Nothing was filled, but no no gains or losses. Then the third week, I had one fill, two filled with one loss and one win. So um, altogether, I had uh, one, two. I want to say three wins and one loss. Let me just check that real quick. Yeah, three wins and one loss. So I'm not sure if that's two thirds exactly, but for the month, it's it's a really good month, and my uh, account balance has been going up from doing that. Um, because of high win rate right now is between 75 and 85 percent. I trade that quite a bit more than other things. Um, when the win rate goes down, I still trade it, and I still trade other things like that. But as win rates fluctuate and go up and down, I trade more, and then when they go down, I trade less. But if you happen to get in and got in on that. It's, it's a really nice trade and it's 12 to 1 and it's really easy to do. I really like simple trades. You can do at noon and they expire you know, at 1 o'clock or you can put them on 12 or 12.30. It's one thing I like about Steve's Euro dollar trade and the Euro pound trade. It's, it's really easy to do. Has it well, recently had an extremely high win weight. Um, you don't really have to have a lot of capital in your account and you can really grow your account over a year. And you can trade these strategies either in an aggressive way or a non-aggressive way depending on your personality so um, typically you can get 80 to 120 percent or if you trade it more aggressively 200 percent it, it just really really depends on your trading style and how much capital you have and are willing to devote that's anyways what I do um, it pays the rent that's about all I can say anyways like share subscribe uh, thanks for watching